Hello, my name is Daniel Gopar. This is the second video on Django and AngularJS. So first off, we're going to go back into the base.py file that we were editing not too long ago. And then uh, we're going to have to change some things. So for example, right here. Um, right here, uh, basically what's going on is this, the base stir, this uh, variable, it's pointing to the config directory. And that's not what we wanted to point. We wanted to point to the project root directory which is yt. So the easiest way to do this is simply by wrapping it again with os.path.thir name and then just wrap the whole thing right there. There we go. And that should fix it. So the so Django will no longer create the database right there, but it will correctly point to this database. So we can go ahead and delete it right there. So let me go, we can just do rm.config.db and ta-da, it goes away. And to prove it to you guys, there you go, and my laptop is dying and that is perfectly fine. All right, cool. All right, so now that we have that done, the next thing we need to do is basically <clears throat> uh, uh, create our apps directory. So we're gonna do make their apps, ta-da and that's where we're going to store all of our apps. Now if you don't know what a Django app is, it's basically this. Each Django project is made out of, uh, is made out of a couple of Django apps. So apps make up a project. That's basically what it is. And we're all going to have the apps stored into this nice little directory called apps. That way it doesn't clutter the project root. So we're going to go into apps, ta-da. We're gonna call manage.py in here and we're gonna do start app. That's how we create our apps. And we're just gonna call it commands. And press enter. And we should see it right there. And if we do tree, there we go. That's perfectly nice right there. All right, cool. So now that we have that, we are gonna go into our base.py that is in our config. Oops, oops, oops. What is going on? I am losing my mind. So yeah, and we're going to go from our project root directory to the config to the settings uh, directory to base.py and we land into this file. And we want to go into the installed apps project right there and we're going to do apps.commands because we want to add the app that we just created into the application. So if we do that it should work run server yes all right cool it worked but before that um actually yes so run server we should be able to see ta-da there we go sweet so we got that working we got that for us but we're also going to do migrate so when we do migrate it's basically storing all the information it's setting up the tables and the schema for the databases so if we run it you we should see some output ta-da so it does all of this which is sweet awesome stuff all right cool so now next what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna create the models for the application so if we go to uh, apps uh -huh, and then commands and then models this is where we create the models for the database. So basically how we want the tables to look like. And that, my friend, is pretty straightforward. Um, we can delete this. And basically what we can do is, what we're going to do is do a little import right here from django.conf import, oops, import settings. There we go. So we're going to do class command models dot um, model and what we're going to do is OS choices. So right now I'll explain what's going on and everything. So electric pair mode, there we go. I need that. Oops, nope, my frame, nope. What are you doing? All right, cool. So I have that. So first off, we're going to create a, a tuple of two poles. So we're going to say A, and right now I'll explain why we need that. Any, any, can't even type, man. What's up with me? And then we're going to do L for uh, Linux, and then we're going to do uh, M for Mac. And I'm going to just copy these things, and then I'm going to do W for Windows, 
and then finally I'm gonna do oh for other like free BSD or whatever for whatever the cool kids are into uh, hipsters so alright cool so now we're gonna use this as a uh, as basically choices as how it states right there and we're gonna do command equal oops command equals models dot text nope not templates text field there we go so these names are pretty straightforward so we're gonna do max length equals 200 so that's the maximum ah, let's just bump it up to 300 whatever help text equals enter command to remember cuz why not bro why not so there we go so that's gonna be our main thing and then what we're gonna do is create an OS so models car field and this is how we create a choice kind of field a choice field with the car field so we do max length uh, equals one and then we're gonna do choices huh didn't pop up OS choices there we go and we're gonna say blank equals true because we will allow the user to not input anything for this so it's not uh, it's not mandatory so there we go but the command is mandatory though everything else will be optional so version equals models dot car field max length equals 20 help text equals version command command works on yeah whatever blank equal oops come on true and then note equals pretty much the same thing models dot text field except this is going to be a little longer max length equals 500 500 man 500 help text equals any information on command that's what we're going to be able to do and we're going to type in true because all of that is going to be all of the optional and we're going to say user equals models dot foreign key so settings dot auth user model so basically what we're doing right here is just saying okay the user this table is going to have a foreign key from another table and we're going to save that as a user but the foreign key is settings dot auth user module model what this says is okay use whatever custom user model we're using so for example we could have used the built-in Django user model that Django provides but if we wanted to do use our own custom model um, we would we can also type that in but best practice best practice is to just put this in and then just look at the settings file and ta-da we don't have to change anything so yeah that's pretty much it and the final thing is we're gonna do return self command and we're just gonna return the last 20 I mean the first 20 uh, text of the command so what this basically does is whenever we print a command class whenever we print it like print command whatever um, it's gonna call this this method this special method and uh, just return command the first 20 characters of command that's pretty much it man it's pretty much it oops oh there we go oh, I hate it when that happens alright cool I think that's pretty much it and then we're gonna do manage to migrate again and make migrations so yeah so make migrations is we we uh, acknowledge that there is some models so now if we do migrate it creates tables pretty much easy and if we run it again everything should be fine ta-da everything still works alright cool it's moving slowly but it's progressing that's for sure alright thank you very much